Alrighty guys, and welcome back to a brand new video. So today we are rebuilding the Portland Trailblazers for 10 years. So we're doing a 10 year Portland Trailblazers rebuild in NBA 2K24. So the Blazers, man, um, I feel like they're taking, I feel like they're not looking to be a good team right away. I thought they were going to be pretty, at least a decent team with the trades they made. You know, they have a lot of good role players, but I was wrong. Apparently injuries are really killing the Blazers right now. Obviously, they got Anthony Simons with like a dumb injury. He's out like four to six weeks, six to eight weeks. Then they got Robert Williams out for the season on right knee surgery. So that's a big loss of their center depth. And then Scoot Anderson is also out. Obviously, he's dealing with, like, a sprained left ankle, so he'll be out, I believe, like, two to four weeks. I'm pretty sure these injuries won't be long-term. The only long-term injury, I believe, is, like, Robert Williams. And then, yeah, but Shaden Sharp is playing really well. And start today still isn't working, man. It hasn't worked the entire season, and it, it's just getting annoying at this point. But your rotation with all the injuries is Malcolm Brogdon. I think he's hurt right now, but I believe it's questionable, so I'm not going to put him as injured just yet. Shaden Sharp, Matisse Ebel, Jeremy Grant, DeAndre Aiden, Ishwin, Wright, Jabari Walker, Moses Brown, Chris Murray, and then Skylar Mays, which he got converted to a real NBA contract, or standard NBA contract. With all these injuries, obviously, they're not playing. And then, um, yeah, I believe, yeah, but by the time I'm recording this, they're 3-6 and six right now, but I don't play a second with the trade line. If we did stop at the trade line, it'll probably be like we're too good and I would want to trade Malcolm Brogdon which he can definitely be traded at the trade deadline he's a very good role player and a lot of contending teams would love to have him so Malcolm Brogdon and Jimmy Grant are actually two guys that I wouldn't mind trading at the trade deadline so you know to move on move on to some of, of our veterans and just give the young guys the key to the team but um maybe I'll see you guys at the trade deadline just depends how we're doing so we are indeed stopping at the trade line to go ahead and trade Milgram Brogdon. I'm trading him to the Miami Heat because I definitely think they would need somebody like this for Duncan Robinson's contract. Um, he's been playing pretty good, so I, I don't know if they're willing to trade him, but if they're getting a way better role player, Milgram Brogdon, I can definitely see them like willing to do this, and he's not that good in 2K. So let's say we get Duncan Robinson in a 2028 first round pick from Milgram Brogdon, and they do agree. And I can't find that many offers for Jeremy Grant, but you know I don't. I, um, no teams are. Uh, uh, oh my God. And then I will see you guys at the end of the season. And in the off season, we are gonna go ahead and trade Jimmy Grant. We're 27, 23 of the season. Let's get a lot worse. Let's tank a little bit, and then hopefully we can get a high lottery pick. At the end of the season, Giannis wins the MVP. Rookie Deer goes to Victor Benyama. Sixth man, Chris Paul. Defensive player, Giannis as well. Most improved goes to Jalen Johnson. So that's very new. We got clutch player going to De'Aaron Fox once again. So I'm pretty sure he won that last year as well. Coach Deer going to Steve Kerr. Executive going to Tyler Jamison of the Philadelphia 76ers. They're playing really good right now also. So on the first team, on the second team, on the third team. We get no Trail Blazers representatives, but we do get some on the rookie first team. Let's clear Anderson, then all his second team, we really get nobody, but that's fine. So this year, we were a lot worse after trading Milk and Brogdon, so I guess he was um, holding the team together by himself. We went 34 and 48, so definitely not the worst team, but the 12th seed is definitely fine for now. Um, but let's just see who wins a championship after we look at our player stats. So we had no 20 point per game stores. I, I mean, Jeremy Grant was like, he was kind of in the middle of that. He averaged 19, Simon's averaged 19, 16 from Scooter Anderson. In. We got 16 and 11 from DeAndre Ian, 13 from Shane Sharp, um, Robert Williams, and then 10 from Duncan Robinson, 8 from Moses Brown, 6 and a half from Jabari Walker, 5 from Dybul, 5 from Scholar Mays, 3, and then 3, and then 2. Just to see who wins the NBA championship. I don't know who's going to win it, but in the NBA Finals, we have the Adla Atlanta Hawks versus the Grizzlies. Interesting. And we got the Grizzlies going on to win the championship. Finals MVP going to John Morant. So heading into play retirement here. You got LeBron retiring. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to override LeBron's retirement, and then I don't think he'll retire just yet. I believe he's going to push till 40 at least, maybe, but in the draft lottery, we're, I mean, pick nine via Portland. I believe that's our pick. I don't know if the Bulls did worse than us, but let's just see for a sec. And we are going to get that ninth overall pick. So the reason why being we, didn't, we, we weren't really bad is because, you know, we still have a bunch of guys that can score for us. But Jeremy Grant is the main person I want to trade. Like, he is on the trade block right now, so I'm going to go ahead and put him on the 
the trade block. Like, I really, really want him to be traded right now because he would free up a lot of money and it would give our young guys more minutes. We got pick nine in the NBA draft. We also got pick four in the second round and pick 26 in the second round. So we got, we can add some young talents to this team. But before draft night, I'm going to explore some Jimmy Grant trades. And if we can't do it, I'll be okay with waiting to like maybe after free agency or in free agency. But I'll like definitely explore some trades right now. So I couldn't find a trade. Let's we'll go and hop into the draft here. So number one, Ron Holland goes to OKC. Number two, um, a day Mara goes to Washington, and then Isaiah Collier goes to Orlando. We got Justin Edwards going to Charlotte, and then we got Gardale going to Utah, and then Jacoby Walter Houston, Al Alex Starr to, to Detroit, and then Isaac. And now it's our turn. So we got Matt Buzelis. We got Stephon Cassell, we got Donovan Klingon, Tyrese Proctor, DJ Wagner. There's still a, a lot of talent on the board, but who do we take, man? I kind of want to take a power forward here, but, you know, I don't know if Jimmy Gretz 100% going to be trading yet, which I really want to. So I kind of want to take a power forward or just, like, a wing here. So, I mean, let's see what we can find. So power forward, we got Matt Buzelis. I might just go ahead and take the best talent here and go Matt Buzelis, but Or I might actually take a center and maybe we can, you know, develop Donovan Klingon. Klingon to our starting center. Don't know if he can, but you know, it's definitely an option. But I might go ahead and select Matt Buzelis here. He can, I mean, I don't know if he can play the four, but Matt Buzelis is the best player and he would definitely make some sense to go ahead and draft him. So I'm going to select Matt Buzelis here. We'll definitely work it out. We'll figure it out. And then Bronny James, sure. Maybe we can get LeBron James on the team. And then with the other second round pick, we draft the PJ Hall. So I'll go ahead and select all of them or draft all of them. So team player options, we got Shade and Sharp. That's a 100% except qualifying offers. Nobody I'm too concerned about at all. I mean, Scholar Maze, maybe, but heading into free agency year, we have the bird rights to issue one, right? I kind of want to trade Matisse Stiebel now since, you know, we have a lot of wings. We can trade him and Duncan Robinson, but I'm going to try to trade Stiebel. I'm trading Diebold to the Utah Jazz for a pick swap, and then he can go to Utah and get some back up small forward minutes there, and then our starting small forward really doesn't matter too much. And after that, man, I don't know. Do we play Matt Buzelis at the four? Does he go up or down? He is 6'11", so I guess. I mean, he goes down. I guess I'll keep him at, as a small forward for now. So, and then Jeremy Grant is, like, the next player we trade to, like, blow it up, I guess. So, I feel like we're fine, like, right now as a team. I know we got 14 players. We can, like, sign a center just in case. Um... He's, um, like, in just in case, like, number one is 100% back. I can take a shot on, like, Jackson Hayes maybe to be that for us. So let's give him a one-year deal, $8 million. I thought that's pretty fair. And we got money. This Actually, you know, we don't have money. Never mind, I lied. So let's go ahead and bring in Jackson Hayes. And after that, I'm really not too concerned about anything else. And now I'll see you guys in, like, the player progression. And then, actually, before Jimmy Grant goes down, I'm going to trade him right now. I'm definitely going to trade him. So Jimmy Grant, I'm going to go ahead and trade Tiffany Simon, Shaden Sharp, Jabari Walker, DeAndre Ayn, Matt Buzelis, Ben Simmons, Duncan Robinson, Jackson Hayes, then Chris Murray. Right now, I'm Jabari Walker. I mean, like, he's, he's a starting power forward, which I guess we can start him for, like, a little bit. And then get a starting power forward, like, maybe next season through the draft. Um, Robert Williams, it's, like, I'm pretty sure he's, like, four to six months to come back. So I'll see you guys at the end of the season. At the end of the season, Luka Doncic wins the MVP. But this year, um, a lot of teams were bad. So the best we got was like 11 seed. But heading into our player stats, I have to look at the standings. So we had 20 from Anthony Simons. We got you know, around 19 from Scoot Anderson. Eight and a half from Shane Sharp. So these guys are developing really nicely. They're the future of this team. 14 and a half from DeAndre Ayton. 13 from Buzelis. 9 from Bronny James. But I want him to be our backup point guard for the future. 7 from Jabari Walker. 7, 6, and then 6 with 5 into five so um take a look at the nba standings so basically yeah there was a lot of bad teams i tried to be worse but they were just like the jazz clippers timberwolves and lakers all taking so then i went over our pick it looks like but we should have a fair shot i believe i'm pretty sure we have a pick i don't know if we're gonna look at future draft picks right now not going to the offseason but i believe we should have 2.5 first round pick and we got the pistons going on the win the chip uh, let's just see. So, player retirements. We got LeBron as a Raptor. I override his retirement, by the way. I don't know if I said it. But, yeah, basically, um, the Lakers no longer have LeBron. So, I think it's the draft lottery here. Let's see if we – okay, we're in the lottery. We're projected to pick eight via Phoenix. Um, but I believe that's from that Damian Lillard three-team trade, and we are going to get the, we're going to move up to three. Let's go. Okay, that's huge. And then the Bulls got back-to-back -back picks. Okay, that's, that's very interesting because I believe 
that pick. Hold on, I have, I have to see how, how the Bulls did. Hold on, let me see first. Okay, so we got picks. We, we moved up. Top three, which is amazing. I'm I'm kind of thinking that we actually do have that pick. If I can go to the standings real quick, where were the Bulls? Okay, the Bulls. Never mind. They were a lot worse than us. So the Bulls are gonna get that pick. Never mind. So the Bulls. I'm gonna get that pick. They were better than us. So um yeah, I believe that pick is like top ten protected for a lot of years or something like that. But basically, we went up to the pick three, which means um I don't know if Cooper flags gonna fall this, but the Bulls have one and two. They're set up really nicely for the future. But um we have some options that we can get here. Maybe Cooper flag would obviously. Be amazing, but the Bulls are most likely going to take him with that pick. Um, let's see who their power forward is right now, and their power forward is yeah, they're going to take over flag, so they're going to take over flag. They're in rebuild mode, they're set up for the future really, really nicely. But I top to the draft, man. See what's going to happen. Number one, Cooper Flag, number two, Ace Bailey. They're, they're, they're going to be the most overpowered team in the future, I guess. We can go ahead. I don't want a point guard, even though Dylan Harper's really good. I mean, do we take a point guard? I mean, really, it really, really wouldn't make sense. That wouldn't make Anthony Simons a little bit more expendable, though. So, do we want to do it? I mean, we, uh, no, I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to do it. I want a forward, like I said, like a power forward. But the best power forward was, um, you know, Cooper Flag. So, we're going to have to go somewhere else. So, we can take VJ Combe. We can take Jalen. We can take Trey Johnson. There's a lot of good options here. Um, do we take another guard? I mean, what would be the most, I mean, what, what would be the most realistic approach to take a guard? So, I mean, um, we could take a backup too, but I really don't want to do that yet. So, I guess I'll go and take the power forward here and like Liam McNeil or something like that. Carter Bryant, so we might take something like that. You know, Nasir Cunningham. I'm going to go ahead and take probably, um... Let's take Carter Bryant. So I don't know if that's the right selection, but probably not. I probably sold terribly. Then we can take a guard like Isaiah here. So I like that. So I'm gonna do that. And 76 overall, so it's decent. It's not terrible by any means. So I like that. So team play options we got: Shaden Sharp. I'm going to accept. Scoot Henderson, Duncan Robinson. I'm gonna decline. Chris Murray and Bronny James. I'm gonna accept. Ryan Repaired. I'm also gonna bring it back for another year. Qualifying offers we got: Jacoby. I mean, um, Jacoby. No, Jabari Walter. I said Jacoby, but heading into our players. That's we got Ben. I mean, Bird Wright's messing up bad here. But the only player I would love to come back and just like qualifying off is like Jabari Walker. So we got Scoop, Bronny. We got Anthony Shaden Sharp. I mean, how oh man, I messed up. Okay, Anthony Thomas, Ryan Repair, Shaden Sharp, Matt Buzelas, Carter Bryant, Chris Murray. And then we got DeAndre Ayn with Robert Williams. So if we have a rotation the way it is right now, I mean, yeah, once again, we have a Monday to sign somebody really good. I mean,. I don't think we do it just yet, right? So, Rory Walker will come back as qualifying offer, and then after that, I feel like we should be really fine here. So, I'm just going to wait for Jabari Walker and his qualifying offer, and then after that, I feel like we're pretty fine here. Um, And then Jack Nays, I will not be bringing him back. So, let's go ahead and wait for Jabari Walker to come back as qualifying offer. And after that, you know, we should be fine. We could sign, like, uh, a random guy to, like, fill out the rotation, I guess. Like, so we, we won't have to, like, so 2K won't sign some extra guys to go and some Trevor here. That should be it. So, and then Jabari Walker, come back into qualifying off for play progression. Um, Shane Sharp is up, Scooter is up. Anthony Thomas is going down, so maybe he actually could be a tr someone we have to trade at the deadline. I would love to keep him. Matt Bazales is going up. We have um, Robert Williams going up as well. We got Jabari Walker. We got Chris Murray, Bronny James. We have Ryan Repaired, and then we also have, you know, Dope going down. I'm not actually, I'm, I mean, how many players do we have? Okay, we have 14. I guess we can keep him for another year or so. Um, he's playing in the Summer League now. He, he, he won't turn into anything for us. He, he'll be gone like one year anyway. I don't know why mention this but let's go ahead and hop into the new rotation download 2026 draft class and then let's hop into the rotation here so your rotation heading into the season um well we got scoot anderson anthony simon shaden sharp carter bryant deandre matt zalas robert williams Barry walker chris murray and then Bronny james so per, i kind of like the rotation once again i would love to get a more skilled power forward than carter bryant but it, it'll work with for now and then once again um i wanted jabari walker to turn to that power forward but I mean, we can give it one more year. Let's actually start him. Yeah, let's start him. Like, I'm, I'm a fan of Jabari Walker. I'm, I'm a real good fan of him, and I want him to be the starting power forward. I'll give him one more shot to maybe do something spectacular, and I'll see you guys at the end of the season. Three to line. Base coach hitting Robert Williams. Steve's mad at us for some reason, but he does not like it here at all. Um, So we're going to go ahead and try and trade him to the Sacramento Kings for Harrison Barnes' expiring contract and a first-round pick. So basically, we get a first-round pick for Robert Williams. I really like that, the Sacramento 
Royal Kings get a backup center, which is must need a backup center. Look at their third up right now. They can get Robert Williams, and then we get a first round pick. So at the end of the season this year, it was just kind of, it was just, I, I wanted to make the play in this year, but at least we have another lottery pick, right? We went 27 to 55. The Clippers went 20 and 62. That's, okay, it looks like they're tanking really, really hard here because no way it can be that, man. I mean, I, I mean the Pistons last year, but still, man, wow. No, I kind of have, I kind of have a plan if we don't get the number one overall pick, which hopefully we do, but let's see who wins the NBA championship. Wait, I don't think I went through the player stats at all. Let me see for a second player set so basically you got 20 from Scoot Anderson, 20 from Shaden Sharp, 18 from Anthony Simon, 13 from DeAndre and he tore his ACL he got a season ending injury as you can see 13 from Bruzelis and 11 from Bronny James. If you're wondering who we were starting when DeAndre and was out I saw new Doka as Buki because I really don't care man I signed um, one of the most random centers in, in the NBA but we got the Oakland Sea Thunder going on with the championship of course but Brooke Lopez is going to retire fifth then but let's see what happens heading into the draft lottery here and none of our um, okay so Westbrook, Kyle Lowry, Clay Thompson, and Blake Griffin are going to get their jerseys retired. It's very interesting. But um, let's see. We are projected the third overall pick, and we are going to get the num number one overall pick. Let's freaking go, bro. Let's go. I really want that to happen. That's exactly why. Man, man, man let's go. Let's go. That's the number one overall pick, and the plan was to select Cameron Boozer, and that's what I'm going to do. So we can move on from Aiden. This year, he can sign with whatever team you want. We can we, we can have our new starting center in Cameron Boozer. Then we just drop the power forward in like next draft or sign one or whatever, and then we are ready. So it's, it's definitely going to be interesting. So let's see staff signing. I really don't care. So let's go ahead and hop into the draft here. We know who we're drafting. We're drafting Cameron Boozer. Our number one overall pick, like I said. So, Cameron Boozer, welcome to Portland, man. Let's go. So, that'll be my pick. I really love what we just did there. Cameron Boozer, he's going to be our franchise center. And then, yes, yeah, Gunnar Ernst, Matt Buzelis, Chris Murray, welcome back to the team. And then, heading into qualifying offers, we got Shane Sharp and Bron James, and then Jabari Walker. So, Jabari Walker has not turned to the player that I want him to turn in. So, it might be time to maybe move on from him, just maybe, but I'll extend the qualifying offer for now. So, free agency is going to be very interesting because we have Shane Sharp, Anthony Simon, DeAndre Aiden, um, a lot of free agents that we have to worry about. So, Aiden, I Probably won't be bringing him back, especially he's on a torn ACL now. We already have Kimmer Boozer, so it's not bringing him back. So, um, like I said, so Shaden Sharp is going to get the contract extension that he wanted. So Shaden Sharp, and then I'm also gonna go ahead and re-sign Anthony Slam. And Anthony Slam is a guy that I think um. It's really good, definitely really good. I'll add like a player option at the end of that. Um, so something like this, and then we get like Anthony Simons or a nice cheap contract, not too much and not too little. So Anthony Simons get him back. Then Aiden, I won't be bringing him back. Jabari Walker. Um, so yeah, it's not so. Three guys want to bring back Shane Sharp and Anthony Simons. Welcome back to the team. Aiden, repair the rest of the guys. I won't be bringing him back. So Aiden is gonna go ahead and sign with the. I mean, I really don't care, man. It doesn't matter. So we. Jabari Walker has a qualifying offer, so Bronny James is here still. Okay, he has a qualifying offer. Um, let's see if we can offer him a contract now since he's like a free agent because I want him under contract. I want him to be our backup point guard, so let's see. I'm not offering that. I'm not offering him $35 million. I'm sorry, but I'm not doing it. You're going to have to come back and get a qualifying offer, bro. But, yeah, so Bronny will be back as that backup point guard, and then we need some depth. Okay, we need some depth. All right, so... Who are the guys that I, like, renounced immediately? So, Jabari Walker was a backup power forward for us. And then, all right, let's go ahead and sign some depth. So, let's see. Backup shooting guards. We haven't had a backup shooting guard in so long. So, let's see what we can get. So, um, I mean, early T and good, good options. But I wouldn't mind signing, like, a, um, let's see. I mean, Marjan Bochamp would be interesting. So, give me Marjan Bochamp, like, a one-year deal, like, million. So, another, like, Jack Nade type of contract, I guess earlier and then we can start like a backup the backup five are um they're really important obviously uh the sound you as buki so pressure to chua would not be terrible would not be a terrible addition by any means uzman garuba i mean the sheriff's go ahead and bring in um pressure to let's bring in pressure to chua to like a two-year deal this time so sign the both of those guys and then jabari walker will be back on this golfing offer and then uh, and then we also have Bronny James coming back, so let's see. So Jari Walker, Bronny James, he was W. Shane Sharp is up. Um, for instance, um, Simon hasn't developed at all. That might be something we have to take notice of. And then Bronny James is up. We got Chris Murray and Carter Bryant all going up. So 
We, we have, I'm a for rotation right? We got Scoot, Ronnie, Anthony Bochamp, we got Shaden, Buzelis, Chris Murray, I got Ryan, Jabari Walker. So yeah, we got a for rotation. And then I will see you guys, hopefully, maybe at the trade in line. I actually have something in mind that we can do. Um, it might be too crazy, but I mean, let's just see it, man. I think I'm like, I'm like, I'm 50% sure that I want to do this at the deadline, but let's see. Alright, so this year we made the playoffs. We were the fourth seed this year, so it looks like this might actually be our year, maybe, to make a strong playoff run. We get 24 from Sharp, 18 from Scoot, 15 from Simon, 15, 13, and 10. So honestly, Matt Wazales is not turned into the player. Neither has Connor Bryant, but th 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 that'll change, trust me. But round one, we have the Memphis Grizzlies, and we are going to. Bunch of injuries lose. Okay, we're going to lose seven. So, um, Scoot and Bronny James got injured, so we were starting Jalen Pickett. Yeah, okay, okay, I, you can argue that injuries kind of ruin that, but I, I, I really didn't want to go that far anyway, so, but let's see who wins the championship. We got Charlotte and Utah, and we got Charlotte going on to win it, so team play, uh, play retirement, um, Harden, Harden as a clever, which is kind of kind of funny, but um, none of our players are heading to the draft lottery here. Um, I'm pretty sure we're, we're, actually, we're on the lottery. Um, what was that pick? Okay, um, Six overall pick via Philly. Do we have that pick? We, um, I doubt it, right? I, I doubt we have pick eight. Let me check. So we do have pick eight. So looks like we have a bunch of draft picks we can use. So I'm going to go ahead and trade Anthony Simons. Point, man, because we already have a bunch of other young players, and he's kind of getting a little older than them. So I just, and, and he hasn't really done much for us since that 20-point-per-game outing. I mean, he was really good that year, but I think it's time to move on from Anthony Simons and see what offers we can get. So, let's see. So, we got um, Robert Williams can get him back. I only want to do that. We can get a Wiggins at a first. I want, like, an expiring... Okay, so we can get two first in the Pistons. I might actually do that. The Pistons take on him. We we, we just get two first-round picks, basically. Um, We'll do it. Yeah, sure. We'll, we'll get two first-round picks for Anthony Simons. They don't have a starting two guard right now, so Anthony Simons can fill that up for you, and then we get two first-round picks. Okay, I like that. Now, let's go ahead and move Shane Sharp back to the two, his original position, and then Matt Bazales will play at the three, and then we need a power forward more than anything, man. I would love to have a power forward on this team, but um, I, I, after trading Jimmy Grant, we really haven't had an established one yet, but let's see what we can get at pick eight. So, I mean, yeah, so number one, um, Elijah Arenas, Brandon McCoy, Caleb, and then let's just go and simulate the hard pick. I'm not too concerned. I, I almost selected him right there, but um, we can select, you know, Mark Marcus Johnson. It would be interesting for us. Maybe he could play like a two guard position for us, two guard role. No, I'll do it. Let's take Marcus Johnson. Or we could take like Taj here. Um. I mean, Marcus Johnson would be the better fit, so I might go. I mean, he, not really. Ty Johnson, I'm just going to take Marcus Johnson. I'm going to take Marcus Johnson with this pick, and then I'll take a power forward here with Jordan Smith. Sure, let's do it. Let's do it, man. Let's do it. Then Marcus Johnson will be the backup two guard for this year, and then I don't care if he goes down or up. He'll, he's playing the two guard. Okay, he goes up one, so that'll work really nicely. Bochamp, um, let's see. Okay, let's move him to small forward. He might actually go up. He does. So he's not going to be under contract, but... But if we move him to small four, that should even off the rotation even better once we re-sign him. So, I really like that. We got Buzelos and Carter Bryant coming back to the team. Qualifying offers, Bronny James. Scoot Anderson is a free agent. So, we have money to sign a max player. So, this is our year if we can go ahead and sign a max player. I don't think I will, though, man. I mean, we got Giannis. Victor Romanyama would be insane. But it's just kind of a dream at this point. Kaminga would be would be the guy I go for. But for now, this is re-sign Scoot Anderson. Let's give Scoot Anderson a bag. So Scoot, I'm gonna resign you. Chris Murray, I'm probably not gonna bring Chris Murray and Jabari Walker back, but let's see. Can, can we still retain Marjan Bochamp though, because he would be a nice move. Or we can get somebody like Moses Moody. I, I'm actually interested in doing that. Let's get Moses Moody. We can also get like Cameron Whitmore, Reed Dick, but I'm gonna go ahead and go after somebody like Moses Moody. I think this is gonna be an interesting, very, very interesting. Let's go after Moses Moody, man. Moody seems like a really good guy to get. Bochamp, um, I can't bring you back, so I'm just gonna not bring you back. So let's resign. I mean, let's bring in Moses Moody and then Square and I'm gonna resign you. I'm not renouncing Bronny James. Or I actually, 
Okay, okay, yeah, so Bronny James will be back, so Bronny, and then I'll work it out. So Scoop and the Moses Moody, let's go ahead and just resign them, and then, so let's not run out with Bronny James, and he's, how much is he asking for, actually? Okay, he lowered his asking price to, like, maybe 60 million for three years. I mean, I'll do this. Let's, let's make it five years, though, so we re resign Bronny James, and then, um, let's see, so we'll have these guys. Bo Champ and the rest of the guys will not be back. This is what I wanted. So actually, most of Moody went off enough gas base. That sucks. So, um, let's sign. I mean, I really wanted most Moody, man. That sucks. On day 12, I'm gonna go ahead and bring back Marjan Bo Champ to be a back small forward, and then we can sign like a minimum, um, backup power forward maybe, and like Darius Baisley. Let's see. I mean, he might. Okay, he's gonna decline that offer. We'll go ahead and bring in somebody else, unless I do Anthony Smith. Whatever, man. We can't. I should have brought back Jabari Walker, shouldn't I? But it's fine. It'll work for now. I'll see you guys at the end of the season. Trade basically we're trading Dorian Finney Smith, Jordan Smith, and the Sumner in second for Olmax and Killian Hayes. See, this year we got to play Sacramento, so player stats, um, we got 22, 18 and a half for Cameron Boozer, 17, 14, and then 12 from Bronny James, so once again, Carter Bryant, still, still not, man, we might have to move on, but Sacramento, they got the guy trying to sign, and Moses Moody, um, I really wanted him, man, but apparently he signed, uh, we couldn't get him, he, he was one to sign, we're going to sweep them, and we're not for his playoff treat in a long time, now we got the Rockets, so Amen, Kyrie, um, Cameron Boozer, Javari Smith, Alfred Shangun, Javari Smith. How much is he having? 20 points per game. Interesting. Um, but we are going to go ahead and beat them in five with um, Olivier Mackens Prosper fracturing his arm. He was shooting about 75% from three. He was playing really good, so that sucks to have him gone. And then Precious Chua is also out. So I'm going to probably shrink our rotation to like an eight man because those two guys off the bench, um, they were playing Killian Hayes and Daron Holmes. So I'm just going to shrink our rotation there. And then, yeah, so now now we got Oklahoma City, which we, we, we all know Oklahoma City's a really good team, right? Josh Giddy's gone, but I mean, I mean, that, that really doesn't matter, man. Oklahoma City just a different beast. We're going to lose in seven, so we had a fair chance of winning the championship, but I think we know, yeah, the Oklahoma City's under. Just a different beast, man. Just a different team. I did two lottery picks. 7 and 10, and we are gonna get 9 and then 12, so we fall 2 spots, but let's see what happens, we get pick 9, 12, 17, 21, and then 27, so I don't know if I want to add like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 rookies to this team that can be, be, be really good, so I think I'm going to make a trade with these picks, man, I think I'm going to use Carter Bryant, so I actually, he he's, has, has a team option of mine, so we're going to have to wait, so I mean, wh whoever we go ahead and draft here, they're going to be used in in a trade for something really, really good. So this is going to hop into the draft here. So let's see, pick nine. I'll draft, you know, Miles here. He he probably won't stay. He definitely won't stay. And then Jackson Davis. You won't stay either. So I don't think you're in the um clear. Ryan here, and then another pick, we got Trey, and then we got, you know, like, Daryl Davis. These, these guys will not be safe with the team, but I'm gonna I'm gonna use you guys in a Trey, don't worry, but, um, few play options, we got Kim Boozer and Carter Bryant, so now it's time to go ahead and trade for a power forward, man. Carter Bryant is not doing much for us, so I think it's time to trade for a power forward. It's probably gonna be impossible to go and pull this off, but... Let's do it. Oh, well, why not, man? Let's go ahead and go for Victor Women. Yeah, we actually can't even match his salary. So, actually, I was going to go after Wimby, but we probably can't even. We're probably going to have to clue change if we actually want to do something crazy like this. So, he's going to be unavailable. So, the guy I wanted to get was Jabari Smith Jr. I want Jabari Smith. So, we can match his salary pretty easy, I believe so. So, Jackson Davis, let's include Ryan here. And then, I mean. Can we hold on Daryl Davis and then let's include this guy Miles? Okay, so we can maybe do this. I mean, I'm gonna try to keep one rookie. I, I actually probably can. We can't clue. We we not have to trade them all. So, um, one rookie will stay. So Carter Bryant, Jackson Davis, Ryan Miles, and then Trey. So we're gonna trade these guys immediately for Jabari Smith Jr. I mean, let's see. Hold on, hold on. Who's the best power forward right now in, in the league? It's probably gonna be Giannis or something. Yeah, as I expected. So, um, let's see. Giannis unavailable. Wimby Tatum. You know, I mean, Jabari Smith would be the most realistic option to go and go for here. So, Jabari Smith, I'm going to offer up. I was asked us to maybe get you on the team, bro. So, let's see. So, what was I offering in Jackson Davis? I was offering Ryan. I was offering, you know, um, this guy and then this guy, right? And then, wait, what? Seven, oh, okay. We have, we have to include Carter Bryant. So, all of this. 
for Javon Key Jr. I'm gonna try not to include a first round pick. This might get it done, and it does. We get Javon Key if we have any starting power forward. So, all those other rookies really didn't matter. If we did keep Daryl Davis, though, so that's something. But, um, yeah, so we get Javon Key Jr. on the team, which I absolutely love. Just a bunch of rookies. So, we so we love to see that. So, qualifying offers Matt Buzalis. Another guy that hasn't lived up to the hype at all, so you might want, want, want to move on from him. So small forwards available. Do we have any cap space? Do we have 13 million? So um, the best one is Matt Buzela, so I'll have no choice. But to bring him back, maybe on a signing trade, but for now, I'm going to go ahead and give him this 27 million three-year deal, flat zero. So let's go ahead and bring back Matt Buzelas. Now we need a backup center, I believe so. So backup center is available. Let's see what we can get. So Isaiah Jackson, I'm going to go ahead and sign Isaiah Jackson. Sign Isaiah Jackson, be a backup center. Now pressure is too, I didn't notice him. We, can we resign him? No, we can't. So Isaiah Jackson, and then we have a for rotation. Um, we should keep developing really nicely. Go and sign an extra wing. Like Aaron Neesmith, just in case, why not? And then third string center, Paul Reed. So let's do that. I will see you guys at the end of the season, hopefully, for us to win a championship. Yeah, so it's really looking good for the future of this team, for sure. But can this convert to a championship? So we got Sacramento in round one. Let's see what we can do with Sacramento. So can we beat them? And just like that, we are going to come back from 3-0. to zero. I got really scared there. But now we got L.A. Um, DJ Wagner, you know, there's no more Kawhi PG. Um, nobody from that team is silly. It was very interesting. So let's see what happens. Against the L.A. Clippers, just like that, we're going to beat them in the five to play Oklahoma City now. So who is this? Who is J.D.? Williams, bro. Wait, hold on, hold on. What happened to SGA? Is he, is he out? Out? Looks like he might be out. Out, man. Because I don't know who I just saw. Paul Ryan, see out for this season. I mean, we have to win, right? Okay. So game one, we're gonna take. Game two, we're gonna take. Game three, they get one game. We get three to one, and just like that, we're gonna beat the five to make it to the finals for the first time in, I believe, like almost, oh, maybe more than like thirty years, maybe more. But, um, they got Chicago, and their team looks stacked, as you can see, so, Alonzo Ball, Javon Cassell, he's, he's the MVP, by the way, Ace Bailey, y'all know they hit on their draft, it's getting back-to-back -back picks, Cooper Flag and Ace Bailey, so the Chicago Bulls, if they manage their future like this, man, uh, they, it would be insane, but, you know, Walker Kessler is a starting center, Kyle Kuzma, DeAndre Hunter, Brandon Podzemski, and they still got Zach Levine, bro? Wow, okay, this might be the most well-rounded team, but I'm kind of scared to see what happens. Game one, we're going to take game two. They even it up. Game three, they take the 2-1 lead. They take the 3-1 lead, and that Bulls team is way too overpowered, man. We're going to lose. Okay, who do the Bulls have? Because if they if they just keep going like this, they're going to be the best team since freaking Michael Jordan era, bro. But um, let's see. Okay, they have a couple of free agents, so maybe that team gets worse, but draft lottery time so um we're, we're still projected in the lottery pick six and just like that we're gonna get pick six so we get pick six in the draft just like um yeah so it's just like that via detroit don't know what selection that is but i would not mind you know trading this pick on draft night but if not i'll just go ahead and draft here so let's see well, we can get, let's say it's pick six, and let's see what pops up. Okay, we might have to add a player, actually, so let's say it is, you know, um, um, who can we add in here? So, Isaiah Jackson, maybe? Okay, Isaiah Jackson and pick six. Let's throw it out there and see what we can get, so, I mean... Yeah, I'm, 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 I'm just gonna draft. Let's gonna draft. Not like any of the options you can see, so I'll see what we can get with big six. We got um, Aiden Diggs. You know what? Yes, yeah, this is gonna be Aiden Diggs, bro. I don't care anymore. Second round pick, Jamal Prince. Price? Uh, and I'll sign you, I guess. Actually, I'll decline him. I'll sign Aiden Diggs. So, Jabari Smith, Kim Loser, Marcus Johnson, qualifying offers. We got Duran Holmes. He's a free agent, so Bird Rights. Jabari Smith Jr., I'm gonna go ahead and re sign him to like a um, five year deal. Why not? Power forward the future and then let's see if we can bring back Olivier Mixon's Prosper and then Marjan Bochamp in the meantime so let's see um Marjan Bochamp you know I'll, I'll just see is really the only option we have at this point and then we have no um bird rice for all max or is he just down here I don't know let's see Olivier Mixon's Prosper where you at bro um 
Okay, looks like he's out of our price range, which definitely sucks. So let's see. So let's see if we can get Omax. I mean, let's see how much he's asking for. He's asking for. Okay, I think we can bring him back. We can bring him back. I kind of like this. Let's bring him in for twenty million dollars on the dot. It's pretty. It's a pretty nice contract, in my opinion. So I kind of like that. Um, I was saying we have to have money to sign like that. But let's see. So Omax, we're gonna bring you back. And that is really it, man. Once again, I'll see you guys at the end of the season. So we are the number one seed once again, man. Only got a couple more years to win a championship and is this the year man we got phoenix in round one let's see what happens so we are going to hopefully beat the phoenix let's get this over it man we're gonna beat them now we have golden state so keontae george is their starting point guard no more Stephen curry it looks like so no more Stephen curry well, let's see what happens we are going to go ahead and beat them in four we're gonna sweep them to get houston malik thomas obi walter cameron whitmore and the infamous card bryant Still not doing what he was meant to do at pick three. Only bumped his averages up to almost 11, averaging 50. It's still not it's still not enough for me to take him number three overall, in my opinion. But we're going to sweep him. We're going to get our revenge. And we, and we got the Chicago Bulls. They um they have not got any worse, as I thought they were. But, you know, they still got the exact same team. They, aired, they added Aaron Bradshaw, just kind of well. Wendell Carter. So, um, Zach Levine is still, is, is he on, like, a big concert or something? Because, yeah, he's making $27 million and only average nine points per game. That sucks for them. But game one, we're going to take game two. They're going to even it up. Game three, we take the 2-1 lead. Let's go. They even it up 2-2. Two -two. We're going to take the 3-2 lead, and we're going to win a championship in Portland. Let's go. So, we passed the Dame era. We're at the scoot and stop. We're at the scoot. And Shane Sharp era, and we won a championship, man. Let's go. And um, we can honestly win another one if we really, really want to. But um, I think we have the opportunity, man. I definitely think we have the asset or the. I don't know what I'm talking about. I think we have the team to win another championship easily like this. So I'm just going to speed through this here. And I'm, I'm not going to sign him, bro. But team play options. Uh, Marcus Johnson. We got Chris Murray declining. I signed him back because I said, why not? Daryl Davis. Cameron Boozer is a free agent. So I'm just going to re-sign Cameron Boozer. Then after that, I think we're in the clear, to be honest. So Boozer is going to offer some other teams. Why do the Bulls want him, bro? Yeah, I already got a stacked team as it is. Just, just pop down. But Cameron Boozer, we're going to give you an extension. Deron Holmes after that. So Cameron Boozer will be the free agent I bring back after that. I think we're kind of fine, right? We have we have the team. I mean, we have the um, players. Go ahead and win another one easily. So that will be my only move, man. That will be my only move. I'll sign once again an extra forward, whoever this Earl Jenkins dude is, and then, you know, flip, and then that will be it. Then I'll see you guys at the end of the season to win another championship, maybe. So Scoot Anderson is out for this season on a torn left Achilles, but it's whatever, man. I mean, you should take up for it, but for the second seed, we got Utah in round one, so against the Utah Jazz, we are going to go ahead and sweep them. Now we got Oklahoma City with SGA, you know, um, we beat them last year in the finals, and they're going to get our revenge and beat us to five, so that does suck, but um, yeah, we only have one more year left on this, so let's go ahead and get to it. We kind of fell off for the 60. We got Oklahoma City. So yeah, this is a team that been having given us problems and just like that, we're gonna get we're gonna get beaten if I was the Thunder man. They gotta be stopped, man. 2K needs to stop juicing them so bad. But hope you guys. Enjoy. I mean, I guess Brian James is hurt, but hope you guys enjoyed this 10 year rebuild of you know just Scoot Anderson, Shane Sharp, and all the uh, all the other guys. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Make sure to like and subscribe to the channel. I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye.